Good day, students. Welcome to Grade 6 Online Science class for today. And today we will be taking the first topic of the term um, interdependence of living organisms. And today we will be discussing about green plants as the producers. Okay? And if you have any question, please let me know. Okay, so page four. I expect everyone to be with their textbooks now so that they can open and join me as we read along and explain to ourselves. Interdependence of living organisms. Um, Interdependence of living organisms means um, as living things, as living organisms, we depend on one another to survive. You know, human beings feed on uh, animals, on trees, on plants. Meanwhile, plants, on the other hand, feed from human waste, manures, nutrients from the soil. Animals also feed from plants. They feed from food we give them, human flesh. Animals feed on other animals as well. So we all as living organisms depend on one another to survive. Now, green plants are the major producers of food. They are the major producers of food in the ecosystem. Now, here it says, all organisms, both animals and plants, need food to survive. That's what I just said. And um, green plants, such as grass and trees, make their own food. So they are called producers. The reasons why they are called producers is because they make their own food from the soil. They do not obtain their food from animals or from other plants. Different parts of the plants have different functions. Okay, the leaf. The leaf makes food. There is uh, something that is inside the leaf called chlorophyll. It attracts sun. It attracts sunlight, and that sunlight enables it, that chlorophyll to make food for the plant. It takes in carbon dioxide. It gives out oxygen and water. The plant take in carbon dioxide, just like how we human beings breathe in oxygen. Okay, they store food, roots. The roots hold the plant family to the soil. As you can see in the picture, here is the root. Holds in water and mineral salts from the soil. This, this, the, uh, the plant gets the water and minerals from the soil through the roots. Okay, may also store food. The stem, the stem holds the leaf, flowers and the fruit. Carries water and mineral salts roots mineral salt from roots to the leaves carries food around the plant so this is the stem it carries root around it carries food around the plants food water look at it the roots gets the the roots gets water from the soil the stem carries it from there to each plant each leaves here okay carries water and mineral salts from roots to the leaves okay carry food around the plant may store food now green plants make their food using water carbon dioxide and light energy i talked about chlorophyll the other time the green substance in the plant called chlorophyll collects the light energy it is used to combine water and carbon dioxide into sugar this process of manufacturing food by green plants is called photosynthesis. Now, photosynthesis is the process in which green plants manufacture their own food. Don't forget, take note of this definition of photosynthesis. Oxygen is also produced and some passes out of the, leaf, of the leaves. The leaves, stem and roots of a plant all help it to produce food. The leaves make sugar and photosynthesis. The roots absorb mineral salt dissolved in water. The plant uses these mineral nutrients 
and the sugar to make proteins and other substances that it needs. The stem holds the leaf and transport substances. Okay, now this is the picture of the stem. This is the sunlight. The sunlight eats the leaf. The chlorophyll makes, collects the light and turns it into what? What? And turns it into food. Okay, now here is the process happens here. Here it, from the root, it gets what? Who can remind me? Water and it gets water from the root. It goes through the stem to the leaves. Okay, now the arrows represent. Okay, copy this diagram of a typical of a typical green plant and label the leaf and the stem. Okay, this is the leaf. This is the root. Okay, the arrow represents what goes into the plant and what comes out of it. Carbon dioxide comes into the plant. Oxygen leaves the plant. Okay. Label the arrow on the diagram. Okay. Which part of the plant makes food? So who can tell me which part of the plant makes food? What is the name given to the way in which green plants make their food? That's the definition I ask you to re remember. Why are green plants called producers? Because they produce their own food. Because they produce their own food. Do plants need light? Yes, of course, they do need light. If without light, plants cannot survive. So, do this exercise and do it in your notes and submit. So, this will be your homework. Okay? You do one and you do two, three, four, and five. Okay? Thank you for listening.